Hello survivors, Wanderer here, welcome back to Fallout 4 Frost. So today, we let go and begin again. Uh, we had a mishap last episode with a grenade that went off at our feet pretty much instantly the second it touched the ground, which uh, was not very good for us. We obviously died instantly that, there was just nowhere to go. I like started my sprinting animation, you can see in the video, I just barely start my sprint animation and then the, the bomb went off and uh, I was dead. So, you know, it happens. Um, in the beginning, the first, like, ten episodes, that's when I'm most likely to die. So we start over, we begin again, and we see what happens. I've tried some of the other starts as well, um, and none of them went very far, so I didn't bother, like, recording them or showing anything. It was pretty bad, honestly. Um, we have learned... There we go, get that depth of field off. We have learned that the, um... The army remnants are definitely hostile, but... The Alliance guys are not immediately hostile. So... The Alliance, we don't have to fight at all. In fact, we should leave them alive. I really just want to get, um... A gun, some ammo off of these guys. He was trying my way, I think. Just gonna do a, like a little bombing run through here and try to get some gear real quick. We can always jump out the back here if we have to. Okay, this is a decent SMG. Let me check both of these actually. Um, nothing amazing. Short light barrel's okay, muzzle brake's okay. This one's just better all around. I got quite a bit of ammo for that, too. I'll just do Alliance Fatigues, I think, and drop the other armor. Alliance Fatigues is not bad for starting armor. Think they've run off? More of that. Did we get... So you had some 7.62 ammo. I'm gonna... Bet. Maybe they're still here, watching us, laughing. My guess here is that one of the other guys picked up that coward. Okay, maybe I can sneak over here. And loot these guys. I'm not sure. Not sure where the other uh, army remnant guys are at. I am mostly. I think maybe he walked outside. Okay. Um, these are all actually pretty good. I wonder if I could actually wear this stuff. I want to check real quick here. So, nice tire iron too. I mean, it's not a bad starter weapon. If I go with this stuff instead... Then drop that. Oh, it's only weighs four. It's still not going to be enough, really. Could drop this too, but nah, it's still not going to be enough. I'll just go with that Lion's Fatigues for now. Not sure why half of the gear 
has icons and half doesn't, and half gets sorted and half doesn't. Like, it's really... Needs to be patched better. That's really all there is to it. Okay, so there's some good armor there, but I can't quite wear it yet. A mute fruit, a six crank laser musket, and no ammo for it, unfortunately. How are the knuckles? Not really any better than that thing is. One more body over there. You've got a double barreled shotgun. You've got a bunch of uh, 7.62 ammo. Not a bunch, I guess. You had some, or you had 45 ammo. So where are the other... Hmm. This thing is super heavy, too. If I could six crank that bad boy up and uh, get a shot off, it might straight up kill the... Uh, the U.S. Army Remnant guy that's in power armor. I don't know exactly where he is, though. Did you have it? No. Who's... Okay. My dudes, who's got the, uh... Who's got the handmaid, huh? Where's the handmaid at? Could be some more ammo for this thing up here. Yeah, just five shots, but... Okay, he's outside. For sure. What's that noise? What? Like I said, I don't think these guys are immediately hostile to me. Like, they're, they seem to be chill, especially, like, if you wear the Alliance fatigues, I think they're, they're okay. So you got... Oh, okay, I guess they are hostile. I thought they weren't hostile. Jesus Christ, okay, I guess they are hostile. Another six cranker with no ammo in it. All right. Chill, motherfuckers, chill. Quality receiver, short light barrel, short stock. Muzzle brake. Um, I think mine's better. Well, that was a lot of, um, kind of worthless, like a lot of shots for not much gain there. I mean, there's some stuff in here, in fact. Oh, that's a radiation. I shouldn't have gotten that. Didn't mean to get that either. I want the bottles, just the bottles. There's an alliance um, area down here too that we can go into and kill a bunch of people. There's not much in there besides uh, the enemies though and what whatever you kill them with, you know, like whatever gear they have. Not sure how worthwhile it is. With what I have now, I can make my way pretty safely over and get the, uh, the thing on the neck removed. We got adhesive here, we got oil, we got tin cans, gas canister, yeah, so that, like, that stuff should all be enough to remove the explosive collar that we have to get rid of. I have so few shots for that, and it's so bad, I'm just not going to worry about it. Could fill my water here, uh, but it'd be dirty, and then it would weigh more. And yeah, there are other issues too. Like I, I can't cook it until I get to the chem station, or not the chem station, the uh, cooking station. Which there's not one around here. So yeah, I think we're just gonna have to leave here probably. As much as I'd like to kill the um, other guy over here, I just don't think I can. Not yet, anyway. That was too much. Maybe if I get... I kind of want these, to be honest. They're worth a bit. Nice purified water is really good find there. I am hungry or, or thirsty already, I guess. Go ahead and drink that. 
Okay, as far as junk goes, um... I need tin can, I need circuitry, copper, and adhesive, and I have all that now in a camera. So I can go and make the explosive collar remover. I'm still over encumbered though, huh? That light could not see what I was looking at there. Um, gas can's really heavy, it's mostly just steel. No Nuka Cola. Never lucky. Okay. Yeah, like, as, as much as I'd like to uh, fight this guy and take his stuff, I don't think it'll be possible until later on. So, over here is the BADTFL. We're gonna make our way over there. Kill anybody in the way. There will be a couple of survivors over here as well. There's one over in that area along the wall. And there should be a couple over here. Now, I don't technically have to fight any of them if I can get around here without alerting them that I'm here. They don't usually have ranged weapons on them. Like this one's got a baseball bat, it looks like. Probably not going to be super accurate at this range. You are so dead. Okay, that's that's fine. Come on over. What are you doing over there? You want to fight? Come on and fight. I, him. Oh. I did. Do you often run at people? Have a machine gun with a baseball bat? A, a small backpack. It was all worth it in the end, folks. It was all worth it. Um. Oh, that's right. The Alliance Fatigues counts as a small backpack, so it doesn't actually matter. Well, I want to sell this. It's worth a lot, so... What else can we drop? Oil can, I'm sorry. I need you, but I... Need to drop something. Really still not enough. Um, okay. Once I get rid of the stuff, once I craft my helmet or my, my collar remover thing, then I can, yeah, I'll have, uh, I'll be in better shape. Okay. Unequipped, hooray, remove. We'll take the money. I can't make, um... I don't think I have any antiseptic or anything, Eric. I'd make some bandages. Don't think I have any of that, though. Okay, so next order of business is to try to get across the uh, bridge over here. I don't really want to fight you right now. Oh, God! Not good! Run! Okay, um... I just want... The hell is it? Here it is. Idiot Savant. Let me guess, you got, like, nothing. No ammo for this thing. Of course not. It's a nice laser pistol, though. Doesn't weigh a lot. I'll, I'll take it with me if I can. Uh, let me see here. 
hood. Got an actual helmet. Leather coat. This is 60. They both give us 60. That's like two less weight. Eh. Keep what I have. Okay. Five mil ammo does not last very long. Just checking around here while I make my way. Ghouls. Which I don't really have any interest in fighting right now. Come on. Okay, saving for anti-crash measures. Water filter? That's lucky. I don't see any survivors over here. Check around the corner here. Did we get the grenade spawn? Well, somebody's dead over here, so it looks like no. I guess maybe... Maybe he got killed by some ghouls. Machete is a bit better. I'll take that. Um, Bozo gas mask is better than rough gas mask. Got some ammo for that too. Machete is a bit better when upgraded than the tire iron, but not whenever it's not upgraded. Uh, what did the note say? Is it just like a... Huh. No, this that's a different note. Or was it? I don't know. That's the note you see in the beginning. I'm pretty sure I got a different note from that guy. Maybe it wasn't called a note. Maybe it was called something else. Right, so got enough ammo that we could deal with the uh, the guys over by that diner to kind of camp out the uh, military barge area, but I'd rather not. I'd rather get the power armor first for sure. So this is downtown over here too. We can also go through here. There's never anything in there. I don't know why I even bother looking. But we need to go... Right over, like, here. Without attracting the ire of every survivor around here. Old North Church is just a bunch of ghouls. It is not a good time. Do not recommend. Zero star review. Staff and service was awful. Nope, can't sneak by over there. Ghoul over there. There is our goal in sight. I don't want to fight you. Okay, good. I, mean, I do want to fight you, but not now. Not until I'm in a, a nice suit of power armor. We got lucky. Looks like I said a T-45. Assuming I can get in there and actually get it before they get to me. Yes. 
That kind of scared me, I'm not gonna lie. Nice starter melee weapon. Electrified Chinese officer sword, that's not bad at all. Alright guys, good start. Saving again, just for safety's sake, for uh, making sure we don't crash. Pretty good start. I can't tell what he has. Looks like melee. Okay. Gotta keep an eye out on your health whenever you're fighting a guy with a machete because... Whoa! What the fuck? Really? It set me on fire? Does the water put you out? Okay, I'm, I'm not on fire anymore. That's good. Really, though? Not a big deal. Only lost 10% of my health. I thought I was going to just, like, burn to death there. Would have been really mad. Okay, he's lost his morale. Let's do this, metal man! I think. Yeah. You piece of shit! You trying to kill us both? <laughs> You're right, it wasn't. You piece of shit, trying to kill me with that freaking inst- oh my god. In here where you could have killed yourself too. Dumbass. Okay, this is all pretty good. However, I still haven't gotten anything that I can really reliably take on um, the dude in the Bunker Hill that has the uh, power armor. Like, the submachine gun is just not going to cut it. His armor is too high. DR is too high. At least for this weapon. I need something that has more of a punch. A higher per shot punch, you know? No, didn't mean to do that. Turn off that. There we go. Man, fuck. Lantern might be nice. Don't have a mining helmet yet. Need some kind of light, you know? Over here and get the booze and the bottles and check the chems. Cool. Not a ton of ammo left. All right. Um, let's go. Let's go downtown. I think we've done about all we can do up 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 uh, 
upstairs, up top, you know what I mean. We've done about all we can do up here. And we will for sure get more stuff in downtown. I think clearing out through the downtown area, Alliance Territory, Ghoul areas, all that stuff. That's really good experience, and it's also, like, really easy. Did I? Yeah, I already put my, my level up in. Very high chance to get some good gear over here, you know? Metro's right over here. I'm so glad they have a marker for it now because I had such a such a hard uh, such a hard time such a hard time finding it. God, I cannot talk today at all. I'd always forget where it was, you know. Oh yeah, there's um. While I'm up here, I'm gonna I'm gonna loot this area too. There's the uh, little shop over here that has a whole bunch of uh, bottles that we can make into blood water. Some booze too. Did that, did that just give me a hint that I'm going to get ill with something now? Nice, next level up. Alright, next one's going to probably go into... Oh, let me see here. Oh, the FPS is awful. Um, I want the Hunter perk, right, to get, get some meat from my kills because those would have been a couple dog meat right there would have been almost a meal there what's on your hip there dude oh it's a lantern got it Eventually, when I go over to Sunshine Tidings and get the magazine there, that gives you even more of a chance to get meat. You can get like three meat per kill if you have those all maxed out, which is quite good. I think last time maybe I was playing a bit too conservatively, like trying to be too conservative on my ammo and stuff early game. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. And also, it was just too risky to be going out during the daytime. Uh, I need to get some booze going here to get some carry weight. We're also hungry and thirsty. That'll take care of the food. The thirst will just get a bunch of uh, bottles and do it that way. It's fine. Just want to get all these that I can. Can possibly make some badges with those too. Getting the most stuff I can up here while I can, and I'll go down. Go down to downtown. I think that's gonna be about it. Okay. Call that good. Crap, I always forget how quickly you enter into it. Got company. You're dead. dead. Something's broken. <laughs> Look at all that blood. Did the uh, Federation win? They did. Actually won for once. What just happened? Shit. Melee? What the? Okay, that's all of them back here. There are more in the other area. They're going to be hostile to me now, but it doesn't matter. I would kill them all anyways for their gear. Wow. 
wonder if, wonder if Assaultron's Blade is better. Uh... Nah, it's not. You gotta be so quiet. Don't have a lot of ammo left. I love how the Assaultron Blade looks. That was a bit lucky. That that gun would have hurt right there. There we go. There's a handmade. Oh, it's a nice one too. I'm happy about that. That, that would have hurt, boys. That And this actually might be good enough. If I put a scope on this, this might be good enough to take out the power armor guy. Even with only four shots, 120 damage per shot with sneak attacks on the head. Probably would just wreck him. And this thing, oh, we lucked out, boys. This is good. This is very good. It's also very heavy. I'm going to drop it for a second and move it over here. Okay, so that's Valenti Station cleared out. Uh-oh, more beer. Drink one for our, our fallen comrades over there. Plasma cartridges. Yes, thank you. I'm just gonna dump everything over here right now. There we go. Dump all these in there too. Also all this stuff. Need my survival kit. And... Um, All this stuff, too. Right, dump off the power armor, too. Need a power armor bench, like, right there. Be nice, just saying. Might be overpowered, but it'd be nice. Sorry, pausing for some coffee. Right, and I have no... I have no light. Let me get my lantern out over here. That I picked up specifically for this purpose. It does kind of suck, I'm not going to lie. But, you know. Better than nothing. Okay, so we got Valenti Station. We got Upper Blue Line. Gate Key. Nobody's got to know that when I'm murdering spree down here. They just all killed each other. You know, I just walked in and everybody was dead. Okay, so yeah, we're good. I think I can take some of this stuff, yeah? Oh, it says steal, though. Like, this says take, but this says steal. That's kind of a bug, isn't it? Like, it says steal three, even though uh, it's not red. That'd be very bad if I took that. Mm, I'm more worried about personal protection. You know, someone coming at you when you're not expecting. You look like someone needs a drink. I do need a drink. I need some... I need some, uh, water. We're gonna make some water. Quite a lot of it, actually. Maybe. Over-encumbered. Please don't break my legs, game. can make one purified water. Go ahead and do that. <laughs> Won't say no to the experience either. And some bandages. Yes, we'll make those too. I just need uh, antiseptic. Yeah, a lot more antiseptic. Roasted corn on the cob. Yeah, we'll do that too. Okay, so good to keep some dirty water on hand and some wood just for being able to roast some of this stuff, like corn on the cob. Okay, so we're just a bit thirsty.
we're more than a bit thirsty. Okay, and then we'll do uh, some booze to counter that out. That's a nice laser pistol. Just need some fusion cells for that, but fusion cells are so expensive. It's interesting that, that uh, I'm wearing Alliance Fatigues. I guess they don't care if you're wearing Alliance Fatigues. I, I kind of forgot about that, that I was wearing those and uh, came in here. I guess it doesn't matter. Um, fungal Purge is worth a lot. It's good for getting rid of rads, but I'd rather try to balance out my rads with um, beer instead. Plus, you're getting Sandy back. I'm just going to sell those, I think. Day Tripper is... Um, it's kind of nice for the Charisma Boost, I guess. Also worth quite a lot, though. Probably just sell it. All the cigarettes and cigarette cartons will sell those, obviously. And uh, this stuff, I'm going to keep it all for now. Maybe the 44 rounds. Those are really expensive. I could get a lot out of those. We'll see what Ozzy has. Ozzy, what you got, buddy? You got anything good? Excuse me. I hate that song, Ozzy. You've come to the right place. I'll take a look. Sure. Great. Ozzy, your stock always is awful. This is just terrible. Just a bunch of pipe rifles and a ten mil. It's it's garbage, Ozzy. It's garbage. Uh, ammo, nah, like, I don't want any of this, really. Alright, so I'm gonna sell these. I think I'm gonna sell this, too. Maybe not. I'll sell this to the buyer, I guess, because he'll buy it for a lot more. Okay, that's fine. Got some caps. Nothing really useful. We do have a nice weapon already, though. And I'm planning to go through and murder a whole bunch of uh, Federation guys for more later on. Stuck. Hey. Hey. What? How are you doing? Fine. That was actually a pretty good response. Like, she's super stressed out, smoking a cigarette, but you're like, how are you doing? She's like, fine, fuck off. That's pretty accurate. Um, I can sell a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I'll go ahead and sell some stuff to, uh, the buyer. I'm not gonna talk to Nick again because I don't think there's really any point to it. Good to see you, my friend. So, did you find anything out? Listen, I questioned every soldier and I didn't find anything. You're not going to find anything. Yeah? If anyone can survive hey. that. You look That's like Eddie someone Winter. that needs a drink. Let's see what you got. Let me know what you'd like. Awesome camera angle. That's quite a lot, isn't it? I can probably get by without. The beer is what I'm more interested in, honestly. What else can we do here? What else can we sell? Actually, I'm just gonna cancel. It's fine. Through with this. Go yeah. find some real yes. evidence. You sure you're remembering that right? You shouldn't. This is a waste of time. You've wasted enough of my time. Okay, I need to find uh, the buyer. Where the hell is the buyer? So yeah, you can go and find Eddie Winter in this and track him down and kill him. Yeah. I think I think yes. if you do it, uh, Nick Valentine here, which is you know Nick Valentine in the flesh. Open yes. for business. Um, he will give you. There he is. Yeah, hello. I'm sure I have something you need. Sure, let's take a look. Pretty sure he'll give you a reward, which is kind of cool.
like an actual little frost quest, you know? And we'll sell those. Sell that. Okay, cool. We got some money. So if we need to, we can, like, buy a stim pack and uh, a rat away. Something like that might help out. All right, so hey. I think... Yeah, you. What's your business here? Just looking to do a little trading. Then you're lucky. If you have anything worth selling, we buy it. We respect finders and buy from the keeper. Enjoy the freedom of trade. Okay. I think I'm gonna grab my power armor and so far, so good. Uh, go for a bit of a, a walk in the downtown area. Welcome back. Taking out some ghouls and some uh, Federation people and generally just getting more stuff, you know? Power armor's in good shape. Um, I will need a fusion core in pretty short order. Hey, there, there's ammo in there now. Interesting. Um, so yeah, the the more I carry with me, the less room I have for stuff. Unfortunately, it's just how it goes. Wait, where did my... Um, these aren't linked anymore? Or are they linked? Where did my uh, nice rifle go? Excuse me? They're not carried over here? I had a... Did I drop it somewhere? Did I sell it in an accident? What happened to... Uh... I had a real nice... Um... Oh, I dropped it there. God. Can't believe I did that. Okay. Somebody was screaming at the screen like... 10 minutes ago when I did that, I guarantee. Uh, this is nice, though. Like, I can get a lot of kills with that thing. And in fact, I kind of want to take this... Well, I guess we can take it down in the... Uh, can, I, can I modify it in any way? Uh, what about the... Uh, okay, it's really good. The pistol grip kind of sucks, so I'd rather have... any other grip, really. Yeah, this requires commando and gun nut for, though, so... Oh, well. We're not getting that anytime soon. Have to watch out for any of these that we can find that have them. Nice receiver, though. Isn't that... Um, quality receiver, isn't that the best you can get? Yeah, the quality receiver, that's the best receiver you can get, so... Really good. Want to keep ourselves stocked with that ammo. I'll buy more if I can, because that's our best weapon by far. Alright, so... Anything else I want to drop off here? Don't need those. Don't need those. I'll come back to drink water and stuff later on. I already read these. Don't need them, so I'm going to put them into here for now. And that should be it. What's still so heavy? Oh, just the gun. Yeah, the gun is super heavy. That's the problem with this, is that it's super heavy. It's okay, though. Um, shouldn't need the gas mask, either. I'm gonna keep it on me, though, because I always forget. I'm just gonna keep it equipped all the time, because I always forget to put it back on when I go up top and take a bunch of rads whenever I walk outside. But yeah, we're gonna go for a walk. I actually should have gotten those military fatigues. Alright, so we're gonna get our... Um, where did, where did I put my... Like, excuse me, where did I put my, uh... Oh, it's, no, it's not it. Where's my Chinese officer sword? Did I drop that back here, too?
I don't think I did. I don't want to be walking around in the power armor here burning up my core. I also can't see shit. Hey, whatever, I'll use the assault tron blade, I guess. Kinda have to use this because I can't see, unless I want to get my lantern out. Whatever. I'll just use a little bit of core to look over here. I don't know why I would have dropped that. I wonder if they, if one of the guys in the uh, Federation took it out, like, I wonder if they can grab stuff out of your workbench like they can, or if I just dropped it somewhere like a moron. I probably dropped it somewhere like a moron. Let's be honest, guys, it's probably my fault. It usually is. Puncturing pole hook's not bad either. All right. I don't know where I put that thing. Maybe I saw it on accident. If I did, I'm a moron, but you know, it is what it is. Blade makes it bleeding, I think. This is armor piercing, though, which is pretty good. That's a pretty heavy loadout, but it is what it is. This thing's not bad for killing ghouls. So far, so good. Because mostly they have a bunch of armor. You'll always be welcome here. I'm more worried about per Did I dump off my junk? I think I forgot to. Eh, it's not that much stuff. It's not a big deal. So go back through here. I'm gonna grab um What's done is done, it's not real, the past, just a memory, just a dream, old world of dream, need to let need to forget. Need to let go. I'm gonna grab some stuff over here. This is Janice's journal. This is where you start, by the way. Hold on, before I read that. This is where you start at normally. The canonical frost start. Uh, you start over here. I don't actually want to open this. I loot you? I cannot. Yeah, okay, I'm not going to waste a body pin on that. You start in that cell. You get a bobby pin that opens up the door. Sunshine Johnny is the guy that knocked you out in the beginning of the game. And uh, Janice was the guy with the gas mask beside him. Janice is not here, but this is Janice's journal. Today I found a squirrel burying nuts. He squeaked up a racket when we picked him up by his tail. Two days at the Malden line broke him. He learns quick. We caught a tortoise. He is a silly thing. It speaks of only of orders and codes. Reforming him will be tough. This one's guard protocols are locked down tight. Perhaps I should just crack open that shell and make tortoise stew. Long trip to the sea, it paid off. Inside were such wonders. Chems, weapons, food, and of course, answers. We even found a silly little snake. They say you cut its tail off, it grows back. Perhaps we'll see. So, a squirrel burying nuts. Uh, that might be somebody, just a survivor, trying to, you know, bury their stuff. They also caught a tortoise, and the tortoise refers to a U.S. Army remnant because uh, the green power or the green uh, combat armor kind of looks like a tortoise shell. And um, it speaks only of orders and codes. Reforming him will be tough. Trying to reform him to be, to 
to let go, basically. Um, his guard protocols are locked down tight, meaning he won't give up his secrets. Talking about cracking open his shell and making tortoise stew, that's obviously cannibalism. So Janice was a cannibal. We also have Sunshine Johnny's journal over here, which I'll also uh, read real quick here. It's still there, like a dream you've awoken from. Every time I smell the cook fire, Alan, no, I need to forget. Janice is back from his trip, the trip being probably going over to uh, the sea. He brought new guests, which is good because the old guest doesn't talk anymore. He's tired. Janice is mad at me because I called him his old name. He says I need to forget. Janice wants to leave again. He says it all makes sense now. He says that the answer was right above us and right below us. I don't want him to go. I get sad when he goes. I hope the new guests talk more. Right, so Alan is a reference to Janice as well. Same guy. So where to go? Um, this goes back over. This goes up into um, Alliance territory, I think. I don't really remember. Been a while. This uh, this is where I usually go, though. This goes down to those two ghouls, Federation territory. Um, we can also go back into the um, the subway with the the ghouls and stuff that are locked away. We'll kill you if we have to. Just leave. What I might do is grab a couple mines. Hmm, best way to get the mines. So going back through here is another way to get into um, Valenti Station area. You don't belong here. Get lost. I don't really want to fight these guys up here without, like, just being able to blow them all up because they'll waste a bunch of ammo shooting at me. And that's no good, obviously. We can also go up through here and take out uh, the Mushroom Farmer Station over at Scully Square Station. Probably what I'll do. There's only one or two guys that'll have uh, ranged weapons here. Usually aren't very many. Then once we get past that, we can get into the area with the ghouls and find some mines and stuff and uh, come back and then mine up the uh, Federation area. Okay, so we'll do a uh, stealth boy going through here. You've got a gun. Looks like an SMG. Someone there? Take that off of you so you can't hurt anybody else. Well, I'm glad that I killed him before he could get up. Yeah. Because he had a freaking missile launcher. That's kind of hilarious. That's pretty funny. Well, I guess we found out how we're going to take out the guy in power armor. Alright, um... That just barely bounces us out, but we're going to have to go back already, I think, because I want all these missiles. I need them all. We're going to take those up and blow up the guy in power armor and then take his stuff and maybe get some better power armor. whole bunch of other stuff here I want, too. Um, 
I'm gonna stash these missiles over here for now. As well as a launcher. I wanna check these guys real quick and see if there's anything else I want here. Obviously I want all the bottles. That'll all be useful. Need that water. All the fungal moonshine. They made a new, um... Um... Like, physical... They changed how it looks. So it's not just like a beer bottle anymore, which is cool. It has its own bottle texture in the world, which is nice. I spy some mushrooms under there, some fungus. Okay. Should be two guys up top here, as well as a little door over here I can check out. Nice. Random railway spikes. I don't really want those, to be honest. Kind of a crappy chest. Probably stash this stuff over here and then come back for it later. I'm gonna see what these guys have on them. Crystals are kind of rare. I might need that crystal. See if I need to shoot them or. Okay, melee on him. Oh, it's on. One has a ranged weapon. Use all your ammo up, man. You did use all your ammo. You used all your ammo. It was just 38 rounds. I don't really care that much. Got more 5 mil, which is nice. I know, I kind of like this thing. It's a pretty guaranteed one-shot if you get a headshot. Nuka Cherry is not bad. Okay, that's not bad. We'll get this stuff and uh, get out of here. Out there is Scully Square. Uh, not a very good time. I could maybe take them out at this point, honestly, with uh, the stuff I have, but it's going to be a huge sanity loss to go out there and kill them all. And uh, I don't know that's really worth it. There we go. Like, I don't know if the stuff you gain, maybe if you go inside the Hotel Rexford and getting all the booze in there is worth it, but otherwise I'm not really sure if it's worth it, so. Get a save in so we don't crash and lose all of our progress. I'll be very sad if that happened. This has been a pretty good start. Not quite as good as my last start, but still pretty good. Alright, I don't know how I'm going to take this. I mean, I guess we're just going to walk back like this. We have to haul ourselves back. I don't really feel super good about... ...leaving the missiles and stuff in there. Um, I don't particularly need these bottles right now either, so I'm going to dump stuff in here for now. Like, I'd rather take back the missiles and the missile launcher to make sure I get those back safely. Like, I'm a little bit worried about stuff just spawning in here because it's a thing. It can happen. Okay, so I'll do that and I'll take as much of the other good stuff as I can without getting over encumbered. Then we just have to come back here for, like, a junk run later on. That's good. Got to keep our booze up, but we should be able to get back now with no problems. I'm so happy they fixed all the uh, texture glitching issues in here. It just, the the, po the extra polish really makes it feel a lot better. Used to be a lot of issues with textures glitching out and stuff in there. So I guess we can just go up through the, uh... It's not really any faster though, is it? To go past the ghouls, it's just like an extra risk to go past them. I mean, it's not really a risk, I'll just kill them if I if they uh, get in my face, but I'd still prefer not to. 
There goes the booze. Time for some more. Out of curiosity, what are we at, Sandy Wise? 62. That's not really that bad. Um, it's not that great, but it's not that bad either. We can kill like 50 more people. Well, not 50, like 30 more people before we go insane. That's quite a bit. It's unlikely we would have to kill that many. All right, so go up on the orange line. And that will take us back up to downtown. You look like someone that needs a drink. All right, so that's pretty I'm good. I'm um, pretty happy with that, guys. Um, I'm going to... Uh, I still don't know what happened to my damn uh, electrified... I have to watch back the video and see what the hell I did with it. Because I'm just a dum-dum. Sometimes. Um, I think what I want to do is, like, right away take these missiles up and, um... I'll just, I'll just take two. I don't even know if I'll need them, to be honest. I could probably get by with just using this. And taking out the power armor guy and seeing what he has. And uh, looting the rest of the stuff up at that area. I also need to go back and get the stuff in that container. All the junk over there. It's all pretty good junk, so I want to get that Crunch. at some point. I but I think uh, I'm going to probably end the episode here, guys. I've done pretty good so far. Decent start, so thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.